Hey everyone, this is Ida of Creative to Create. Welcome back to my channel. I have a um, just a little project that I want to share with you guys. Uh, I know Lady Cree is having this seven day of Christmas crafting uh, going on and she invited anyone who wanted to, to play along uh, that they could. And she, there is a hashtag for this and I, I'm not real sure what it is, you guys, but I will uh, put it in the description of the video. And um, But there is a hashtag for this and I have been Christmas crafting for a while now but one of the things that I love to create are ornaments and I usually do that for my siblings uh, or I try to do a new ornament every year and I just created this one that I really really love. I don't know if y'all remember but I, I'm 59 years old you guys so when I was young, our Christmas trees were those that had, um, there was a bunch of little holes in the center pole and they would put little uh, sticks that had like a mylar type of little uh, fringes on it and they looked like a little sprinkler at the, at the end. So that's the Christmas trees that I remember very young. And, um, but the ornaments were so beautiful. They, they had, they would do so much work in the ornaments and I believe like that's a lost art so when I think about that I think about the ornaments that my mom used to have so I created this ornament and I did uh, create something inside the ornament because this reminds me of those ornaments of you know when I was young growing up I created this ornament and I hope you can see it well on the inside I'm not sure if the lighting is is good but it's got the Santa by uh, Stamperia in it. And I use rice paper to do that. I'll give you the information on that. And if I hope you can see um, there is clay pieces in there that I created to go inside. And then I sprinkled some glitter, uh, very pretty, like a holographic uh, glitter in there. I added some little uh, berry sprays and like dried uh, twigs with uh, looks like icicles on them. And I love the way this ornament looks. It kind of reminds me of like that, um, what is it called? The glass that, um, what is it called? Milk, not milk glass. I don't remember what it's called. I'll think about it in a minute. Anyway, I, I used, I did gold leafing on it. Look at how beautiful that looks. I hope the lighting is good. Look at how beautiful all the gold leafing on the back is. And then this right here is a clay piece that I also did and uh, adhered it to the back and just painted it in gold. Um, and then right here are those caps that we use to do to make the tassels. And then after it was done, and you do have to let this dry because I use E6000 to adhere the, the clay pieces that are on the inside. And I also use triple thick to uh, kind of seal the image on the inside and if that's not real dry and you try to close it up and seal it uh, it makes the uh, top look foggy so it gets cloudy if it's not completely dry so you do have to let it at, at least sit a day or overnight and um, and then and then the next day go ahead and close it up and all that so I had to do that to mine because every time I try to close it up an hour or two later I could see where it was getting cloudy so um anyway and this morning i just kind of put it all together i did add a trim right here in the metallic gold and then i was looking for some special wires uh to 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 purchase for this ornament this is a gift that i'm creating for someone and i kind of want to do a whole set but we'll see and uh i was looking for some nice hooks and um i saw this one on Amazon but just by looking at it I thought I can do that one of the tools that I kind of regretted purchasing and not because it was a lot of money but because I really wasn't using it and and this time I was glad that I had it was the we are memory keepers uh, the wire wrapping tool I hope some of you guys I think uh, purchased that as well so all I had to do was position the pegs in the right places so I could make this hook and it came together in no time, in no time at all. And then this is a little um, 
some little charms that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and they actually came linked together different colors of stones and they have a hook on either a loop on either side because they're connectors or you can turn them into bracelets so I decided to take mine apart and use it right here in between the ornament and the hook and I don't know if you're familiar with uh, wire wrapping and or working with wire I have before and um, when I did the hook here, it was kind of very soft because the wire that comes with the tool is kind of soft. But if you take a hammer and hammer it to give it that hammered look, what happens is it flattens the wire, but in the process, it also makes it stronger so it'll hold the shape. So I didn't hammer uh, this, the loopy area, but I did hammer the, the uh, hook area. And it ended up really nice, guys. I'm really happy with, with the results. I hope that you can see Santa clearly back there. Let me turn him this way. He's back there in the red. Um, this uh, Ideally, I wanted to use the disc ornaments that are round, but not like a ball. They're actually flat like a disc, but the shape is round. And I, I had some, but not ones that open up uh, so I could put the image inside. So I ended up having to use the hearts, but I am very pleased with the results. And there again is the gold leafing. I did have to use some type of glue. Uh, that's for gold leafing. And it, mercury glass. Ha! That's that's what I was trying to think of. It reminds me of mercury glass, guys. Um, on the inside, when you look at it, it, it is very pretty. It's so pretty. And like I said, it reminds me of like those old uh, ornaments that my mom used to have. So I'm going to share with you the paper that I use for that because this is actually paper craft. Uh, I did have to use paper. I used um, the rice paper uh, by Stamperia and I think this is either Pink Christmas. I think there's a couple of Christmas ones that they have and they're, uh, they have the, the, the shabby colors, the shabby sheet colors, the pastels. So I use this one, and this one sheet comes with um, the six circles. So I'm able, and even the roses, I'm able to use them in my projects. So that's why I kind of want to create a whole set of six. Uh, so that's one of the ones that I picked up, and I'll, I'm going to share some other ones with you that I picked up that I thought were really pretty. Not that I'm going to use them right now, but I thought they would be very pretty on a project. Look at this beautiful lady one right here, and these all came from ASC crafts on Etsy and I purchased from her before I really like uh, her products these these weren't very much at all they were two dollars and change I believe and it was free shipping so I, I found these blue ones I didn't find exactly the ones I wanted but all of these are papers by Stamperia and here is another one that I think they are very very pretty uh, you do have to use some type of decoupage uh, glue you also have to find some type of sealer. I use a uh, triple thick inside of mine, but I do want to purchase one that is specifically for uh, doing these ornaments. Um, so hopefully I'll find something to use. And then I want to share one more with you. One more paper. And it's too big to fit it all in, but it is this lady. It reminds me of like Marie Antoinette. And it looks like it's like a layering paper, but it's actually rice paper. So I kind of wanted to be quite honest. I wanted to print it out on paper because I want to put her together in that dimension in between the layers of the dress. Like here's one piece. Here's the ruffles. Here's another piece. And, you know, just kind of put it all together. But I really love, love, love this paper. Anyway, that is what I use for my project. I hope that you all like what I created for my seven days of crafting. I Like I said, I have been crafting for more than seven days already doing Christmas crafts, but this is the first one that I said, okay, I'm going to use the hashtag because I wasn't aware of it before, but now I am. So I will put Lady Cree's uh, channel in the description box, the video, that way you can get, she can explain to you better what she what she's doing. I think it's a challenge to herself. And um, and the hashtag. That way, if you guys want to participate, you can and use the hashtag. Thanks for watching. I hope that everyone is having a great day. Again, uh, these supplies came from ASC Crafts 
on Etsy and uh, she's pretty quick about delivery you know it didn't take very long to get to me and it was free shipping and she even included a few uh, freebies right here of the rice paper these Merry Christmas sentiments she sent me several of these so thank you I appreciate it uh, and she always sends a handwritten note but um, I will link her also in the description box thanks for watching I hope everyone is having a great day and I hope that you participate Bye.